Open on shape, we're gonna learn something today. Every idea starts with a sketch, but before that we need to create a new document and give it a name. Right after this you'll get greeted with an empty space and three planes. For our dice, let's imagine we're looking on top of it, so we don't need the front and the right plane right now. Now select the top plane and click on the sketch item or hit Shift S. Great, now we can start our drawing. A dice is basically just a fancy cube, and a cube is nothing else than an extruded square. So let's create a drawing of a square. Again, there's more than one way to achieve this, but let's keep it simple and select center point rectangle. If possible, I like to stick to the origin of my coordinate system, which is represented by the black and white circle. So let's click one time to select the origin as our starting point, and one more time to decide on the size of our square. Onshape is a parametric solid modeling software, which means it wants us to give some dimensions for our square. If we don't know the dimensions yet, we can hit escape, but for now let's go with 20 by 20 millimeters. The extrude tool lets us add depth to a face in a straight path. We can access this by either clicking on the tool menu item or hitting Shift E. As our dice is a cube, we're also gonna take 20 millimeters for the height. Awesome, our dice is mostly done. Adding a chamfer to every face of our dice will make it roll better and also we're still missing the pips. So let's change this as well. Besides the three planes, we can also create sketches on faces of our object. So let's start on our topmost surface again. Select it and hit Shift S again. To create the number one, the center point circle tool will come in handy. Select this or hit C to create a circle. Again, let's click on the origin and click another time to select the size. As we're already having quite small dimensions here, we should usually consider our nozzle size, which is mostly 0.4 mm. Any multiplier will do just fine, but let's keep it simple and do 2 mm for the diameter. This should just work out fine. When we extrude now, select remove instead of add and give it 1 mm of spacing. Now repeat this five more times and we're done. We can export our dice. I'm going with a 3MF format. Import it to your preferred slicer and hit print. And here we go. We created our own dice. And if you want to step it up for the next family game night, add more info to the face which is displaying the number one. You'll be lucky with a six more often.